something that's been um, with me through the day has been what I read this morning on the uh, forum. Which is really beautiful reading how people are connecting and sharing such depth and honesty and clarity and respect and this is just really really touching every time and something that Lindsay said a really beautiful um, expression which is sp speaks to it all and speaks of it as the um, the smile inside the grief. How many of you know the smile inside the grief? The smile behind the grief or in the midst of the grief? Yeah, raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And as I was walking along the beach this morning, like just enjoying the magnificence, that was with me. And it was really, uh, I was seeing how you do, that smile doesn't really come until you really go to the, until you go to the grief, until you really go inside the grief. You really go there and you really feel it and you really be here in it. It's not until then that this smile. And I was looking at feeling that, looking at that, because that's very much what's with me on a daily basis here as I walk through situations that are so heartbreaking. And um, there is this uh, this knowing through it all, even though the the going to the heartbreak and the really feeling of it and the places where it takes you to as it as it on the human level, the egoic structures, it's like you have to go and face the powerlessness. At a certain point in your humanness, there's a layer of powerlessness for the ego to meet in the things that you just cannot do anything to change. You cannot do anything about. And so the ego has to meet a certain layer of powerlessness where it really just, it, it tries everything that it possibly could do to manage making a situation feel better or whatever. But then there's a certain moment where this powerlessness is seen and kicks in and a giving up, which is really a surrender, like in, in the suchness, to the suchness, seeing the suchness, Realizing the suchness that there is nothing I can do more than just be here in it. And in that moment, in this moment of really facing the suchness of humanness, the fact that we are here with limited forms that must crumble and die, which is the suchness of humanness. And in the facing of that is the surrender of the ego to, to a force and a source in which its hands, it's in its hands, the turning of this planet, the next breath, 
is in the hands of what gets surrendered to. Whether we call it source or God or whatever we want to name it, whatever we give a name, we name it, but it's, it's what it is without any name. And the knowing so deep that it's out of my hands. As a little person, it's out of my hands. And handing it over is where that reveals itself. And deep in the heart, is the okayness with the suchness, which brings a smile and touches this humanness. And it's really where divine knowing starts pouring in, while the continuation of the human experience is going on, yet this knowing pours itself into everything. And then you really become available. There's an availability for the divine being that one is to pour itself in to the humanness. So how available are you? How much do you need to be broken down before you become available? And we all get broken down at the level of humanness, that struggle and that fight of trying to control life and trying to do it the way I would like it to be. At those levels, there's a breaking down. And through that breaking, we are made more and more available. How available are you? And the more available, the more there's a smile inside the grief. Because grief then can come home through your body and be transformed by the meeting, the true meeting of it. And you're being made new as a being, not as a, a person, but as a being. the integration of this divine pouring touches humanness. So if your life's falling apart in some areas, it's not happening to you. So let us see what this meeting will unfold today.